It's no secret that good health equals youthful, both in youthful appearance, in youthful mobility, and in a youthful attitude as well. Because after all, if you're not having to concentrate on getting better, if you're not in poor health, then you're going to have a much more positive outlook on life. So it's important that you see your doctor for regular health checkups as you get older. This helps to prevent problems developing or from worsening. And if you have a family history of certain diseases or ailments, then a regular health check is essential. And I don't just mean if your parents or your grandparents had health problems. You also want to look at your wider family. If your siblings start to come down with some sort of health problem, there's a good chance that you might have it too. So you need to get yourself checked out. And the same goes for a bit further afield, you know, uncles, aunts, cousins, etc. Any blood relative that has some sort of ailment or some sort of disease which could be inherited means there's a good chance that you might have it too, so you do need to get yourself checked out under those circumstances. So what sort of things should you get your doctor to check for? And what sort of questions should you ask? And what sort of things should you ask about when you have a checkup? Well, I suppose perhaps the most important thing is cancer screening, because if you treat cancer early enough, then you can literally save your life. So we're talking things like breast cancer, cervical cancer, prostate cancer, colon cancer, and lung cancer, particularly if you're a smoker or if you have smoked in the past. You want to make sure that uh, there's nothing untoward going on there. You also want to get your doctor to check your cholesterol. And this is particularly important if you're over 40, because then cholesterol can start to build up. You also want to have regular checks of your blood pressure, because that can be an indicator of poor heart health. So you want to get that checked out. You also want to get checked out for HIV or AIDS if you're in a high risk group. So if you're gay or if you've had a blood transfusion in the past or if you are or have been an intravenous drug user and have shared needles then you want to make sure that you regularly get checked out to make sure you're not developing HIV or full-blown AIDS. You also want to have a blood test to look for viruses in case you're suffering from any other type of viruses. And particularly, you want to have your doctor check out if you're suffering from any what's known as low-level viruses. Now, these are viruses that don't generally manifest themselves with any particular symptoms, but they can just simply make you feel off-colour all the time and uh, make you perhaps more susceptible to getting colds and sore throats and that sort of thing. And quite often, if you don't have a lot of energy, if you're feeling sort of generally blah all the time, it may well be that you're suffering from a low-level virus and you want to get that checked out. You should also see your dentist regularly. Bad teeth can be very aging, and extractions can cause hollow cheeks, which can put years on your appearance. Also, good oral health can lead to good general health because your body isn't having to fight oral infections. And your dentist can also look for signs of mouth cancer and can detect it early. So you should go and see your dentist at least once a year, preferably twice a year, just for a regular checkup. You should also keep up to date with any vaccinations and inoculations. And this is particularly important if you do a lot of traveling. If you go to countries where certain diseases are endemic, but they're not native to the country where you live, then obviously that puts you at a much higher risk of contracting those infections. So if you're going to any country outside the immediate area where you live, then you should go and see a doctor ahead of time to make sure that you have all the uh, jabs that you need to keep you healthy. 
And you should also, during the course of having your checkup, review any existing health problems and note any changes. You know, have you noticed any body changes, including lumps or skin changes? Are you having pain, dizziness, fatigue, problems with urine or stool or menstrual cycle changes? Have your eating habits changed? Are you experiencing depression, anxiety, trauma, distress, or sleeping problems? All these could be、uh, an indicator of something more serious going on. So you do need to discuss this with your doctor during your checkup. And if problems are caught and solved early enough, not only will you live a longer, healthier life, but you'll have a better quality of life too. For more free educational content. Visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.